Welcome to Drawing with Anna. Hello guys, so let's see what we got today. And yeah, picking randomly. Do, 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 do. A vine bottle. Vine. Vine. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, obviously thinking about how to draw the damn bottle because I'm not quite sure how to work out the straight lines pretty much, but yeah. Why not? So then I just decided to go on sketch whatever I can. And um, yeah, to be honest, I like vine bottles. They're so like, have you ever just looked at one and thought like, what skill it takes to make one? I think it's amazing to be honest. And the fact that those wine bottles have not changed since, I don't know, for like two centuries or something or even more. It's kind of amazing to me. Um... But yeah, here's like the rough sketch, and I know the the way I was recording the video isn't quite right, because I changed the position of where I hold my camera, and yeah, you'll see it shake quite a lot, because I would like mess up a little bit. But yeah, anyways, I try to make it as straight as possible as I can, but like, you know, you know, it's kind of hard to draw from hand. But then I went on to drawing a label, and... I decided to go with like cursive letters because for me wine is something very like fancy and um, yeah so that was me explaining something to my mom about my drawing but anyways um, yeah I, start, I decided to just put a wine on there but it just it wouldn't it didn't look right so then I decided to put on cherry wine I don't know why cherry I guess I just really wanted cherries at that time and there's me, my attempts in making the fancy Y, although, I don't know, I'll change it later on. And then I decided to put a year on there because usually wine labels have a year. And I don't know why did I choose 1882, but we kind of sticked with it. And here's the actual Y that I sticked with, fancy. At that point, I decided to draw some grapes just to make my drawing complete. And yeah, that kind of took a while, so enjoy me drawing circles, and I'm not sure if it actually looks like grapes, but you know, I attempted since, like I said, I'm not going to look up any of the things, I'm just drawing from memories and just pretty much imagination. So yeah, then I kind of sketched out some leaves in there, I tried, I tried to remember what the leaves look like, I, then I just decided to draw a cherry because come on, cherry wine makes sense right but yeah i don't know if that was necessary or not but then i kind of struggled with making a leaf but i tried you know i tried then i for some reason decided to switch to sharpies but then i flipped to the back and noticed that it actually bled through the whole page so i sticked with my um other marker that i use and yeah that's sad the next drawing that i have to do would have to be on a different piece of paper because he bled through. Oh my god, it's so sad, actually. Ugh, but I'll just blame it on the creators of this book because they could have used thicker kind of paper that doesn't bleed through. But, you know. You know, you know, you know. So here's me actually outlining everything in all. Yeah, okay, perfect. Now we're gonna erase all the pencil markings. And that's the time when you notice when you kind of just missed everything. <laughs> like the bottom of the wine, but then I just drew it again. Here's something happened fun. So I was trying to get a pencil and fatality. Oh, I hate when that happens. But you know what? I decided to show up right in again. And yeah, I seemed fine. So I just went on to sketch the bottle, which is usually really dark green. And uh-oh. Just watch. Oh yeah. It snaps. And I was really mad, but then I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna sharpen you again. So I went on to search for it, kind of same color. And uh, it kind of took a while, but then I did find it from a different brand of a pencil, but the color was still the same and look how bold it is. Beautiful. So then I just kind of went in sketched you know fill in the color that's boring but it's kind of satisfying to watch you know 
especially when it's speed so yeah i have to sharpen it again this time i decided to use a knife because i actually like to sharpen my pencils this way uh because it makes it pointier so then when i have little details to go around like the grapes and stuff it's much easier to get there with pointed um lead than just sharpened you know like you get what i mean like if you're an artist you probably do the same thing with your pencils but you know some artist once told me that if my pencil isn't sharp enough to poke someone's eye, then, you know, it's not meant for drawing. And I don't know, I find it funny, but then, yeah. It was kind of a creepy guy. Anyways, so then I blended everything out, and yeah, I figured out that this whole drawing was bleeding out throughout the page. So, yeah. So, so yeah, I actually decided that this is the last drawing where I'm using a blending marker. Then I'll just use a blendable tool, you know, just a rolled up paper or Q-tips or fingers, whatever it is. Um, just to, you know, not make drawings bleed through because there's 500 and I'm just wasting paper. But yes, yeah, I'm trying to kind of shade in the cherries to be the dark cherry color. And I decided to blend... Um, red and black and it kind of did give me what I wanted but kind of didn't so yeah but anyways here's me shading out the table and giving it a shade because come on he has to have a shadow he has to and yeah you can tell that it did bleed through and that's so sad it breaks my heart but anyways anyways so here's the final product I actually do like it I just don't like the cherry but yeah come back soon